It's the Daily Special with Kimberly Ray Miller! Welcome to the Daily Special. Today is Friday, March 21st. It's the end of my fourth week on the Self Challenge. You can check out my stats and what I've been eating on thekimchallenge.wordpress.com. And I've lost five pounds. Yay! Um, and which is good because usually when I'm on a diet, I, um, I just gain weight because I just eat all the time. So today we have something a little new for you. We have the awe moment and today's awe moment is this. Aww. Aww. <laughs> we love puppies. Your eggs are so cute. Oh, let's go to today's specials. <laughs> A German woman woke up at the hospital looking for her brand new knee and found that she had a brand new anus. <laughs> Who knew you could get one? What? Happy pooping. Next, Swarovski Crystal has come up with an engagement ring and it opens up and is a USB port for the woman who has everything and wants to download it. <laughs> Right, and the Japanese, they are just way too industrious for their own good. They came up with the Lucky Palm Boob Massager. You know, when your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, own hand is too busy doing something else like buying a boob massager. <laughs> I love the baskets and the eggs and the chocolate-covered bunnies. I don't really know what it has to do with Jesus being resurrected from the dead, but I want to. So we have John Cahill on the street finding out about Easter. Thanks, Kim. And uh, to answer your question, dating a divorcee can be a little tricky. Uh, you know, we're out here today to find out what people are doing for Easter weekend, so let's see what we can find out. Easter's coming up, and uh, I guess uh, you know spring is here. Do you have any plans for Easter? There will be no Easter bunny. There will be no Easter eggs. There will be no Easter sex, probably. Easter sex. <laughs> Easter Although, sex. that would be really fun. <laughs> well, I just want to know more about this Easter sex I'm hearing so much about. There's a lot of buzz about it. Jesus did turn water to wine, and wine is delicious, my friends. Now, what if someone turned your wine into water? Would that be reason to be angry? I, with my family, yes. I use use used to go to church and all that stuff, but no, I might go and pass by. See, I like to combine both uh, the celebration involving the, the, the Easter Bunny and religion, and yeah. I'll, I'll go to church wearing a lot of um, pastel colors. I mean, if Jesus came and turned my water to wine, that'd be okay, but you know. What if some guy named Gary came and turned uh, your... Some guy named Gary, <laughs> I, would not, I would not be pleased. But um, the Easter Bunny's making his way to the city this, this weekend, and um, is there any resentment? Because people love him, and I don't know if that's... I guess that says it all. You're an my my take on Easter sex, if I if I may, and I don't want to insult anybody that's more familiar with Easter sex than myself, but I imagine a lot of uh, chocolate coated skin with bunny some ears. nougat, with some bunny ears. That is that is that's deviant behavior. Well, there you have it, Kim. You know, we found out that Easter means a lot of different things to different people. So I hope you have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon. hard work you are a beacon of light and knowledge in our daily special world everyone have a great weekend a happy easter a happy forum and a happy first weekend of spring we'll see you next week yeah.